In an electrolysis system, an oxidizing disinfectant can be produced in a process known as water activation. An electric current is applied to water in an electrolysis chamber. The water is broken down into an acidic biocide known as analyte and an alkaline substance known as catholyte. The analyte is injected into the ballast water, where it creates oxidizing chemicals which kill the unwanted organisms. The catholyte can be used to neutralize the pH change later, so preventing excessive tank corrosion or environmental harm. Besides analyte and catholyte, electrolysis can produce hydrogen gas, which must be handled on board the ship. The amount of active substance generated is dependent on the salinity level of the water. The oxidation reaction of seawater is also temperature dependent. The reaction does not create the disinfectant at effective levels below approximately 15 degrees Celsius. The water must be heated, hence the higher energy consumption. The IMO convention stipulates a limit of remaining disinfectants for the outgoing ballast water. It may therefore be necessary to neutralize harmful byproducts prior to release, should the IMO limit be exceeded.